the Jazz and Music Festival, and now this August, it's finally back. Tickets just went on sale today, and we're told the sooner you grab yours, the better. On your side, Madison McNamee shows us why. Come August, this site will be filled with major artists, crowds of people, exciting music, and it's all because the Richmond Jazz and Music Festival is finally back. August 12th and 13th, Maymont will look a bit different. It has been a while since we have been here in Richmond. Four years since the last Richmond Jazz and Music Festival. It's become a Richmond tradition, but one that's been missed since before the pandemic. So one thing that we do know is that festival culture has really exploded and we're super excited that we have this festival offering here in Richmond and we know that it's going to attract uh, patrons from all over. Whitney White has been helping produce the festival since around the time it began back in 2010. We have a great array of marketplace vendors um, as well as great food, great wine for our patrons. A lot really does go into the planning, but it's something that we love and so we don't mind doing it. Tickets are available now online and White recommends buying them soon. We are super excited to have some music legends and some up and coming artists. We have artists like Shaka Khan, Wale, Kamasi Washington, Coco Jones, and of course many others we're super excited about. And White says more local Richmond artists will be added in the coming weeks. We always want to make sure that we're creating a stage too for local artists that we have here in the area just because there is so much talent that already is here in the region and so we're going to make sure that we give the local artists, the local talent, an opportunity to present themselves. You can buy a full weekend pass or just a day pass at richmondjazzandmusicfestival.com. We'll also have a link on our website. On your side in Richmond, Madison McNamee, NBC 12 News. Accurate, reliable.